Last night on the On Baseball Night episode in New York, host Sal Licata, John Jastrzemski, Jim Duquette along with Omar Minaya discussed the possible idea of the Yankees potentially trading for starting pitcher Max Fried. What would it take to bring the lefty to the Bronx? Is he really worth it? The hosts discussed it, see below. First of all, please subscribe to the channel and set the bell. That the Braves could trade Max Freed. Not sure why, but Jim, let's say that they do. What would be your decent proposal for Freed? So this, you know, there's a little bit, uh, there's another layer here too. We, what the Braves like to do is they like to sign guys and then trade them or or let, like they did with Freeman. They, they let Freeman go and they traded for Olsen. So that would be with the idea of they sign a starter, like maybe Rodon, and give him the money because Freed is a free agent in two years and they're not able to come to a deal right now. And if they were to trade him, they need a shortstop right now because Swanson's out there in a free agent. So the Yankees have a couple shortstops. So why not in this particular situation, Peraza's major league ready. He's a guy that you know, is on the, uh, the prospect list is number 50. Uh, Dominguez is a little bit higher. He's number 39 overall. But that's about what it, it took for Castillo to go from Cincinnati to Seattle. The sim similar prospect, actually, the prospect level was a little bit higher to Cincinnati from Seattle. So it's in line there. They probably asked for Volpe. They probably don't do the deal because they don't want to move Max Reed. But it got us thinking a little bit like, man, maybe they could do. I'm not trying to help out Atlanta now, yeah, Sal, because you're going to get into on. trouble with those yeah, right. guys down there. <laughs> but I will say this, that that to me, that would be a fair deal if Freed was available and if the Yankees were willing to part with those two young guys. What do you think of that deal, Omar? Well, I, I think if I'm receiving the call, Tim, what Jim is saying, talking about it's in line with a guy like Freed. He controlled for two years. He's one of the best, uh, you know, left-handed pitchers in the National League. And I'm usually for giving trading uh, prospects. Now, and this one, I'm saying to myself, can I address my need in the market still? And that's the, the that's the question I have. If I'm the Yankees, I'm still going to try to address the need. And let's be serious, guys. The Yankees are building a team that, you know, you might be able to get that kind of guy during the trading deadline and not be able to give these, the, this kind of guy. I'm for giving prospects, but you're giving up really your number one, at your, you know, your number two or three, whatever right. it is. That's a steep price, but... I always believe, Jim knows me, prospect, you can go replace those guys. It's just that Dominguez, they put so much into Dominguez. It's almost like the Mets, you know, trading Alvarez and, I think and fans would or be something like that. I do not want to make yeah. that trade. I'm with you a thousand percent. It has nothing to do with Freed. Nope. I think it's a totally fair trade. I want Peraza at shortstop for the New York Yankees. Enough. Play one of the kids at shortstop, number one, and go and give Rodon $200 million. Right. You're the Yankees. You don't have to give up your prospects to make this sort of trade. You can address it via free agency. The other way to do that would have been sign Correa last year instead of trading for Josh Donaldson and then trade some of the young guys for pitching this year. Obviously, they didn't do that. Now